Example 1 says find the equation of the tangent and the normal to the curve y equals x squared minus 2x at the point 3, 3. So I've just copied down the equation of the curve. Now, it's not always possible, but if you can draw a rough sketch of the curve, then it's not a bad idea to do so. So we can do that here. This is a quadratic curve and the coefficient of x is positive, so it's going to be a happy shape. So it's going to look something like that. And the point 3, 3 is about somewhere there. And I'm going to mark it 3, 3. And what we want to do is get the equation of the tangent and the equation of the normal that go through that point. So if I were to sketch the tangent, it would look something like it looks something like that. And if I were to sketch the normal, it would look something like that. And they would be at 90 degrees to each other. So I'm going to let N stand for normal and T stand for tangent. Now you can see already that from the sketch the tangent slopes up which means its gradient is going to be positive and the normal slopes down which means when we work out its equation its gradient is going to be negative. So let's see if that turns out to be the case. Okay, so step one, we've written down the curve, we've tried to sketch it and we could sketch it, but don't worry if you can't, it's still possible to do without a sketch. Have a look at the curve because very soon we're going to differentiate it, but there's no need to get rid of brackets here, there are no x's on the denominator and there's no roots, so this is almost ready to differentiate. However, here's the general startup. First thing I do is I write down what the point is. So I put a little title down. The point here that we're talking about in the curve is 3, 3. The tangent and the normal both go through that point and we want to get their equations. So remember to get the equation of any straight line you need to know a point that they go through. So that's why this point is critical. So we've now got a point that the normal and the tangent go through. What we're now going to do is we're going to have to get the gradient of the tangent and the normal. Okay, Because to get the equation of any straight line, you need a point and the gradient. Now, always start with the tangent. So I put another little title down, tangent. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get the general gradient of the tangent at any point in the curve. So I put a wee subtitle, general gradient dy by dx. So we're going to differentiate the curve to get the general gradient of a tangent at any point in the curve. So dy by dx is going to be 2x and then we're just going to be left here with minus 2. So there you go, that's the general gradient at any point on the curve. However, we want the actual gradient of the tangent at the point where x is 3. So we're now going to sub the x coordinate of the point into the general gradient to get the actual gradient of the tangent. So actual gradient at x equals 3. So replace x with 3, so we're going to get 2 multiplied by 3 and then minus 2. Okay, so that's going to give us 6 minus 2 which is going to give us 4. So there's the good news, we've just worked out the actual gradient of the tangent.
And that fits with our sketch, because didn't we say that the tangent is sloping up, so we're expecting its gradient to be positive. And it is. It's positive 4. So the good news is, we know a point that the tangent goes through. We know the gradient of the tangent. Now we can get the equation of the tangent. So equation. So just to summarize, it goes through the point 3, 3. And the gradient m is 4. And we're going to label the point x1, y1. And we're going to sub those into all of these things into the brand new equation for a straight line, which is y minus y1 equals m upon x minus x1. So chuck everything in. We're going to get y minus 3. And that's equal to 4 upon x minus 3. So tidy up, we're going to get y minus 3 equals 4x minus 12. And then we can bring the minus 3 over, so we're going to get y equals 4x minus 12 plus 3 is going to give us minus 9. And that is the equation of the tangent. Now again, check it with a sketch. Yeah, that makes sense. Y equals 4x minus 9. You see the way it's it's going down here? So it's going to cut the y-axis at a very low value, so negative 9, and it's got a positive gradient, so it slopes up, so it makes perfect sense. So that's all the work that we've done so far with the tangent. Now we're going to work with the normal. Now, we need the gradient of the normal. We know the point that the normal goes through. It's the same point that the tangent goes through, but we need its gradient. Now, you then look at the actual gradient of the tangent. It's 4. So to get the actual gradient of the normal, you flip the numerator and denominator of the gradient of the tangent, and you change its sign because the two lines are perpendicular. They're at right angles. So now I'm going to take a title normal. So, actual gradient at x equals 3 Well, we look at the actual gradient of the tangent, we flip it upside down and change its sign. So it's going to be negative a quarter. So now we're going to get its equation. So again, write down everything you know about the normal. It goes through the point 3, 3. And its gradient is minus a quarter. And it makes sense. The gradient of the normal is negative. Look at the diagram. Gradient of the normal is negative. It's sloping down. So label the point again, x1 y1 and then sub all the information to the brand new equation for a straight line. So chuck it all in we get y minus 3 and that's equal to minus a quarter upon x minus 3. Okay, plan. I'm going to multiply through by 4 to get rid of the fractional denominator here, to clean the denominator. So we're going to get 4y minus 12, and then that's equal to minus 1 upon x minus 3. Then multiply out your brackets. And then rearrange it into a suitable form here. So it didn't specify what form to give the equations in. So what I'm going to do is bring all the terms over to the same side. So I'm going to shift x over. So we're going to get x plus 4y. And then minus 12 minus 3 is going to give us minus 15. And that's equal to 0. Okay. So that's also known as the general form for a straight line. So again, you've got an x term, a y term, and a number term equal to 0. So sometimes it might say 
uh, write down the equation in its general form or write it in the form ax plus by plus c equals zero where a, b and c are integers. So that's perfectly fine. I'm just going to leave it like that. Uh, again, going back to the tangent, I'm happy to leave it like that. You could alternatively shift your 4x over, shift your plus 9 over and make it equal to zero. It doesn't actually matter unless you're specifically told the form to put your answer in. So that's our answer for the tangent and then that's our answer for the equation of the normal.